and this is another math video. Today I'm going to go over some examples from 7.4, numbers 9, 10, 11. Uh, the reason why I chose these questions is because these are um, closest to what you're going to be doing on the quiz. So let's look at number 9 first. Um, it is about a store that sells used video games. So it's $10 per game. Um, and then there are seven games sold, but for every dollar increase, five fewer games were sold. So let's look at the revenue. Um, it was $10, there will be 70 sold. So for the first price increase, there will be um, $11, but only 65 games will be sold. So if I go to a calculator and calculate the revenue, that will be $715. So if I do one more increase here, that will be $12 per game, and I'll only sell 60 games, and that will give me the revenue of uh, $720. So that's kind of the idea. Now what we want to do is to generalize this result. So um, the revenue in general is going to be equal to um, price, so that will be 10 plus um, the number of increases and then 70 minus 5 times um, that number will be sold because for every dollar increase 5 fewer games will be sold and then what we want to do is to multiply this out so here we are r is equal to 10 plus n times 70 minus 5n so we will use foil to multiply this out um, first to first, and then just like that. That will give us 700 um, minus 50n plus 70n minus 5n squared. And then I'll combine the like terms, which gives 700 plus 20n minus 5n squared. So all we need to do is find the vertex of this quadratic um, equation, sorry, quadratic function, and I can find out uh, what the maximum revenue is going to be and um, what's the price going to get us to that maximum revenue. So I'm going to go ahead and factor the negative 5 from the first two here, negative 5n. And I'll be left with n minus 4 plus 70. So I can see that there are two points of the same height, and they will be 0, 700, and 4, 700. Therefore, to find the middle of these, I have 0 plus 4 divided by 2, and that's 4 over 2 which is 2, so n is equal to 2 for our axis of symmetry, so to speak. Which is going to tell us how many increases it's going to take to get the maximum revenue, which is 2. Okay, And what is that maximum revenue? Um, I can go ahead and plug this into the original function to figure that out. So r is equal to 10 plus 2, and then 70 minus 5 times 2, and the rev maximum revenue will be 12 times um, 60, which is 720. So for maximum revenue, I want $12 per game, and that will be $720 in revenue. And that's it. So as we move on to number 10, uh, we'll be using similar techniques for this one. Uh, we're going to use partial factoring to find the axis of symmetry. Uh, we're going to find a coordinate vertex and we're going to go ahead and sketch the graph. So if I want to use partial factoring here, that will be for the first two terms only, just like that. I'll factor out the greatest common factor of x, so I'll be left with um, x plus 4, 
minus 6. So therefore, the two points of the same height will be, um, or the half the y, same y coordinate will be uh, 0, negative 6. And I also have negative 4, negative 6. And then I'll find the axis of symmetry by averaging the two. So um, x here will be equal to 0 plus negative 4 divided by 2, which is going to be negative 4 divided by 2. And that's just going to be negative 2. And then finally, to find the um, vertex, I'm going to plug this into the original function. But let's just mark down that this is the axis of symmetry. Always good to write things down. Okay. So finally, I'm going to plug in uh, negative 2 into the original function here. Okay. So this will be 4 minus 8 minus 6, which will be negative 10. So the vertex will be negative 2, negative 10. That's our vertex. And then I can go ahead and graph these three points here. Um, point number 1, point number 2, and point number 3. 0, negative 6. That's right there. Negative 4, negative 6, which is right there. And I changed the scale so I can actually fit this last point onto here. So negative 2, negative 10. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw a parabola as best I can through these three points. Okay. So something that looks like this. And this is actually going to go off the graph and just keep going like that. Okay. Let's look at the second example that will be number 10e. Same thing. Now I chose to do this question because it has a factor of negative 1 half in the front, uh, which makes it slightly more complicated. So I'm going to go ahead and factor from the first two terms once again. Okay, put them in brackets. It's a bit trickier, so when I factor out the negative 1 half x, the greatest common factor, I'm going to be left with x for the first term. And you got to think about dividing by negative uh, half here, which will give you actually minus 4. So that's the tricky part right there, which gives you these two points. Um, so 0, negative 3, and 4, 0. Sorry, uh, 4, negative 3. Okay. And then once again, I'm going to average these two to find the axis of symmetry. Okay, so this will be uh, 0 plus 4 divided by 2, which is 4 over 2. Just 2, the axis of symmetry is just x equals 2. Okay. And finally, I want to find the y-coordinate of the vertex, so I'll have f of uh, 2. I'm going to plug this into my original function here. So that will give me uh, 2 times 2 is uh, 4. 4 times a half is 2, so negative 2 uh, plus 4 minus 3, and that will give me um, negative 1. So my vertex will be 2, negative 1. Okay. And again, I'm going to plot these three points, point number 1, point number 2, point number 3, on this graph here. So um, 0, negative 3, 4, negative 3, and finally 2, negative 1. So we do get a parabola that's point upside, pointing upside down, and that's good because I have a negative 8 there. So it's supposed to be pointing down. And again, I draw the best sketch I possibly could. That would be the end of the question. So um, there's one more thing that you might want to do as well for these questions here, and that is um, you might want to draw a axis of symmetry. Make sure you 
maybe want a want to use a ruler for this. I didn't hear you can kind of tell that this is not a perfectly straight line, but well having the grids do help, so I'll just do your best with that, and then here's x equals negative two. And that's it. Um we might also ask you to label the points, which is not that difficult. So you can just put in the coordinates at each point. Um, so as long as you follow the instructions um, to the quiz or the tests, um, you'll be just fine with this here. So let's move on to the last question and it's the one where you have to find the uh, equation of the graph given the, the graph, the parabola. And so for the first thing you want to do, like I said in class, is you want to find out what the x-intercepts are. In this case, they are uh, 2, 0 and they are uh, negative 6, 0. By the way, this is question 11c. So if I kept going, I will first write down y equals a and then x minus r1, x minus r2. Um, by the way, we also need a third point, so let's identify this point here as well, and that's going to be uh, negative 2, uh, 4. Okay, you also, you could have used these other points here as well, but uh, actually, since we have a nice y-intercept, why don't we use that? Here's going to be um, 0, 3. Okay, at any rate, um, you're going to go ahead and plug in your two x-intercepts for r1 and r2. So um, let's see what that looks like. We have y equals a, x minus negative 6, and x minus 2. For a bracket there. And then I can simplify a little bit. So I have x plus 6, x minus 2. Now to solve for a, I'm going to plug in the point 0, 3. So 3 is equal to a, 0 plus 6, and 0 minus 2. I can go ahead and do that. I will have 3 is equal to a, 6 times negative 2. So 3 is equal to a times uh, negative 12. And so if you kept going, uh, a is going to be equal to negative one quarter and finally you're going to put this all back together negative a quarter and then x minus or x plus six sorry and then x minus two uh, we might ask you to expand this fully as well um in this case the numbers don't turn out very nice but it's going to go ahead and do it um x squared plus four x minus twelve Actually, they do turn out okay, uh, which is good. So I'm going to distribute the negative quarter here. So I get minus a quarter x squared um, minus x plus 3. Okay. And finally, you can always check if part of your answer anyways, um, because you can see that the 3 matches with the um, 0, 3 here. So that's the y-intercept. Also, your parabola points downwards, which means you're the fact that your a is negative also um, is correct. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, these questions I think covers most of what you need to do on the quiz, um, and it certainly does cover all the techniques that you need to know. Uh, the questions may have a slight variation. For example, I'm not going to ask you the same word problem twice. Um, so the quiz again is tomorrow, and I will see you guys then.